Hey guys, welcome to Ham Radio with K0PIR, my YouTube channel. I've got WSJTX working with N1MM Logger. I'm getting ready for the Worldwide Digi Contest this weekend. So let me show you how I got it set up. Okay, well I'm just following the document on the website and I'll put a link below. But this document tells you everything that you need to know about setting up WSJTX with N1MM Logger. So I'm going to assume that you've been using N1MM Logger and you've probably been using WSJTX. Let's uh, get them working together. So I'm going to open up N1MM Logger. And we're going to get this set up first. I'm using the ICOM 7610. And uh, this works real good with the ICOM 7300 and lots of other radios. But for the 7610, it was real simple. And the 7300 is real simple, too. Let's go to Configure Ports Mode Control and all that. The first tab that we're presented with is the Hardware tab. And if you've been using N1MM Logger, you're not going to need to change anything. There is one thing that you need to make sure is checked off. I'm going to go to set here. And this is a COM port for my radio. I want to make sure push to talk via radio command digital mode is checked off. So make sure you got that checked off. And then the uh, next tab we can go to is the mode, mode control. And under mode sent to radio, on the ICOM 7610, we use USB-D1 on the radio, and there's not one from the drop-down list, so we select AFSK-R. And I'll tell you one thing about this. When I go to WSJTX, it will set the right mode for me, but it doesn't set the right filter. And I don't know how to fix that. It goes to a narrow filter. So I have to manually set the filter on the radio. I just hit the filter button until I get the filter that I want. So that's something to watch out for. The next tab is the WSJTX JTDX setup. This is real simple. You don't need to change anything in here. Just enable this. You don't need to change that port and enable this down here auto load WSJTX decode list window when we open up WSJTX so that enabled this enabled and then we want to find the path for WSJTX if you're using JTDX you want to find the path to it and you just hit the select button put that in there and it should be done now I'm going to hit cancel because I've already got all of mine set up now to start WSJTX, we don't start it from the desktop. We start it from N1MM Logger. You can see up here in the top left, I have AFSK-R in the title here, or the menu, or the title. And on my radio, it is set to USB-D1. And I have the right filter set. To open it up, we'll go to Window, Load WSJTX. And the first time you do this, you'll have to go in and enter your call sign in Grid Square again. Basically set this up from scratch the way that you want it. You have two windows that open up. Uh, one is this little window up here, and I've got the green box. If this was red, then I'd have a problem. But it says WSJTX has been loaded and connected. So we're good there. And then this other window is the code list. And these windows, you don't want to close them. You can minimize this one, but don't close it. It's important. So we're going to go to File and Settings. And the first tab, you'll have to enter in your call sign and your grid square again. Now I've got a, a couple of boxes here checked off. The next tab is the radio tab, and this is important, DX Lab Suite Commander. You don't need to have DX Lab Suite Commander installed 
in your computer just select that for rig one thing I changed was the pole interval I changed it to two seconds and I did put the local host in there 127.0.0.1 in the document that I'm following they don't have anything in there they just left it blank and it did work however I was having some issues and I changed the pole interval to two seconds because I was having uh, some problems and I'm pretty sure that that uh, helped me out but you may just want to leave it as the document shows and not have anything in here and leave that poll interval to one push to talk method I'm using cat below the mode control data packet and I'm using fake it for right now I'm not gonna hit test cat I'm not gonna hit test push to talk those have messed me up previously so it locked up on me a few times and I had to restart the programs over and a few times I had to restart my computer over so the next tab is the audio tab you want to set up the uh, USB audio codec those are the, the ones for the ICOM 7610 or if you're using a 7300 or any other radio that has that you want to set up your sound card input and output I didn't change anything else transmit macros I don't have anything in there reporting tab it's important prompt me to log the QSO and then clear the DX call and grid after logging I've got enable PSK reporter spotting you may or may not want that checked off and then the only thing that needs checked here is accept UDP request and we leave the port number alone UDP server alone and we don't check this off secondary UDP server if you had it checked off in the past you can uncheck it you don't need it in this situation uh, frequencies I'm gonna go over we haven't changed anything in here the colors I haven't changed anything in here and the advanced tab for right now I'm testing the worldwide digi contest so I don't have anything selected down here but when I go to start operating I'll select this and the North American VHF contest but for right now I'm just operating and logging contacts that I make so that about does it you just click OK and you should see green and green square and WSJTX has been loaded and connected now I had noticed before that this sometimes gets disconnected it shows WSJTX has been closed and disconnected or something like that but I still have a green box so I am still connected and I think changing the polling interval helped that uh, it may have been the putting in the IP address for the uh, DX Lab Suite commander that helped that out but I haven't seen that in a while so uh, you may see that and if you do it will still work as long as you have that green box it should still work but that's that's the reason I changed those two settings now let me go back and take a look at it these two settings on the radio tab I put in the 127.0.0.1 for the network server and I increase the polling interval with the two and I think that's what fixed that I'm not quite sure but I haven't had there it is it just uh well now it's connected again we'll see what happens all right so uh, that should do it just remember don't close this window don't close this window okay now that we have everything all set up let's try to make a contact I'm gonna be double clicking on the decode list over here and I'm, I'm looking for red the red call signs in red are multipliers so let me just try him it puts his call sign in the field and his grid square we can actually minimize this we don't need it open or we need it open but we don't need it up on the screen I'm putting out 30 watts I got a little bit of ALC let's try VE3 all right there we go boy he gave me a good strong signal report I'm at 25 watts and I'm giving him a strong signal report could probably back that down 
But you see, I, I was trying to make contacts earlier, just a few minutes ago, and I wasn't able to get anybody. So, possibly prop propagation. There it is, and it's going to prompt me to log the QSO. So, I've got the information I need in there. I got my power in there, and then a little comment to myself. I can click OK, and it puts them in the log. So there you go. Well, the Worldwide Digi Contest is coming up this weekend, but there are lots of other contests that this will work with. So I hope you find this informative and useful. If you have any trouble, please refer to that document. It has everything that you need. And please remember to like, subscribe, and share. Also, tell your friends. 73 and good DX.